Okay, good morning class. Today's Wednesday, March 31st, and we just completed going over graphs, and we've learned all different types of graphs. Today we're going to kind of work backwards on multiplication. So we're moving um, to multiplication comparisons. We're on page 455 in your Volume 2 Go Math book, okay? So what it says at the top is, is you can use multiplication to compare amounts, okay? So compare means like greater than, less than, we're comparing the numbers is usually what we, these are words you would usually hear. But for multiplication, what you would hear is three times as many, five times as many, okay? So when you hear this word, times, what do you think of? Five times as many, what does that make you think of? <clears throat> does it make you think of adding? Does it make you think of multiplying? So times as many means to do what? Multiply. multiply. So that keyword right there should trigger in your brain, oh, I'm multiplying. This is a multiplication number sentence or multiplication problem, okay? Okay, so the number in the back when it says three times as many as five, that means I need to take one five and do it three times, okay? So here's the three boxes. So if I were to solve this problem three times as many as five, all that means is three times five. Now over here, when it says five times as many as three, that means I have one three and I'm doing it five times, okay? So that's why you see the box three is inside, and how many boxes did they draw? Five. So it says five times as many, that means five times three, five boxes, okay? That's what we're going to be um, practicing today. When it says expression, all that means is a number sentence, okay? A number sentence looks like this. It does not have an equal sign, okay? All that means is a number sentence with no equal sign, okay? All right, no, the next one, who wants to read? No, I'm good. <laughs> Allie, go ahead. Charlie has nine things. Jack has four times as, as much. As much money as Charlie. How, how can you use multiplication, multiplication. multiplication to show how much money Jack has compared to Carly? Okay, so Carly has nine pennies. Let's circle that. How much does Carly have, Javea? Nine. So where Carly is, we need to put nine inside the box. Okay. Jack has four times as much. Okay. Four times as much means I need to take that nine and do it in the box four times. Okay. So Carly has nine, Jack has four times that. So to figure out how much Jack has, we would do four times what? Nine, good. So see how it says four times? And that's exactly what we put, four times, okay? That's all you're doing. It goes in that order of how we read this. Four times as much, so four times is what we put on the expression, okay? Describe the expression as a comparison. <coughs> so how would I put this yeah, as a comparison with the numbers? What goes on the first blank? Four. 
good. Four times as much as nine. nine. Okay? The next one. Amelia made eight cups of lemonade. Nathan made four times eight cups of lemonade. They each wrote a comparison to describe the expression four times eight. Amelia wrote four times as much as eight. Nathan wrote four more than eight. Who described the expression correctly? Okay, so what do you think? If it's four times eight, would we write the expression four times as much as eight or four more than eight? What do y'all think? You think Amelia's correct or Nathan? Well, what does four more than eight mean? If I have four more than eight, what would you do? So if I say four more than eight, that means you need to do eight plus four. Is that what the expression says? No. no. So Nathan is not correct. Nathan is wrong. Amelia wrote four times as much as eight. Does that sound correct? Yes. Yes, because four times means you multiply. Okay? Four times as much means to multiply. So who described the expression correctly? We would say Amelia. Okay, and I'm not going to make you write out the explanation. I just explained it. When it says four times as much, you need to think multiplication. So it's four times. Four more means add four. Okay, four more means add four, not multiply by four. Okay, next page. Number one. There are eight students in the art club. There are three times as many students in chorus. Draw a model and write a multiplication expression to represent the number of students in chorus compared to the art club. Okay, so let's circle the important information. How many students are in art club? Eight. Eight. So eight needs to go here and we label that art. Okay, there are three times as many students in chorus. That's important. Three times as many in chorus. Chorus is just another word for choir, like a, a group that sings together. So down here you're going to put chorus. We already have the three boxes, but what needs to go inside them? Eight. Eight. Good. Okay. So now, how would I write that as a multiplication expression? What times what? Evangeline? Eight times three. Okay, good. But we're going to put three first just because that's how it's said in our sentence. Three times as many. So we say three times eight. Okay. Number two, draw a model and write a multiplication expression to represent the comparison. Six times as many as two. So as soon as you hear six times, I want you to go ahead and circle that. Because what does that mean? I can go ahead and write for my number sentence. Multiply six times. Six times what? Two. Okay. So as soon as you um, see that six times as many, six times is what you need to write. Okay. And then the second number, six times as many as two, is what goes uh, at the back. 
your second factor. Okay, so now what do you think we need to put on these blanks? I have one, two, three, four, five, six blanks. What needs to go there? Two, good. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then we have just one, two. This is just like doing the boxes. Okay, I want you guys to try number three. Try number three on your own and then we'll check it. Okay. Four times as much. So as soon as you see that, you should circle it and put what down here? Four times with the multiplication symbol, okay? As much as five, so now that's our second factor. Now on the blue lines, that's not as important, but all that means is you're taking a five and you're doing it four times. Okay, did we get that one? Okay, good. Getting a little bit easier. Three times as much as nine means what? Three times. Three times. Three times nine. Oh, I can't see that. There we go. Okay. Eight times as many as six means what? Eight times six. Okay. Now let's do it backwards. Let's start with a multiplication <coughs> sentence and we need to write it as a comparison. Nine times two means nine times as many as two. two. Number seven. Eight times four means, five, eight, no, we're over here, guys. Eight times as much as four. Good. Eight <coughs> times as much as four. Okay, number eight. Five times seven means? Five times as much as seven. Mm -hmm. So notice it's in the same exact order that the expression is in. Five times seven means five times as much. Six times nine means six times as many. Good. Okay, let's look at number 10. Use the picture at the right. So right here, John's big cat, or John, John's big dog eats 10 times as much, as much food as his cat eats. Let's go ahead and circle that, 10 times as much. So immediately when I hear that, I should think what? Time. 10 times, good. Write a multiplication or multiplication expression to represent the amount of food that John's dog eats compared to his cat. Okay. Well, we look at the bowl. the The cat is eating how much? Two tazas. Don't worry about the word, but the number means we would put that as our second factor. Okay. Okay, so the expression would be 10 times 2. Does that make sense? Okay, number 11, write a problem about pet food that could be represented using the expression 4 times 3. Okay, so let's think about two pets we want to compare. What do we want to compare? We want to do cat and sitting dog still? Yes. Okay, so let's say my cat eats. And then how would we write four times three as an as um, a comparison? Just like what we did over here. 
We filled in the blanks. Eight times four meant eight times four meant eight times as much as four. So what were we what would we write for four times three? Evangeline? Evangeline, you're Allie. Four times as many as three. Good. My cat eats four times as much food as my puppy. But do we need to include the three somewhere? Yes, we do. My cat eats four times as much as four times as much food as my puppy. My puppy eats how much? David? Ten times more than not ten times. We've got to use this three somehow. So we can just say my puppy eats three whatever measurement we want to use. What do we want to use, Evangeline? Three times. No, not three times. We've already done the times part four times. So we would just say three cups or three scoops. Okay. My cat eats four times as much food as my puppy. My puppy eats three cups. How much food does my cat eat? Okay, that would be your question. Okay. So just like what we did over here where we filled in the blanks, but you had to come up with a whole problem instead. We got that? All right, let's look to the back. I'm going to go ahead and do these with you to save time. Okay, number 14. Who wants to read? 14. Javan, you can read. Okay, so we need to figure out the comparison. Where did where uh, did we hear something important that we should circle? What is what's some important information that Javea read? Aaliyah? Got three times as many hats as Karen. So that immediately tells me that my number sentence needs to have what at the beginning? Three times. So just knowing that, I can automatically eliminate which ones? D and C. Okay. Now we need to figure out how many hats Karen has. Well, she has two blue, three green, and one red. How much is that in all? How much? Six. Six. Good. So three times six. Now we know the correct answer is B. Okay, number 15. Joseph's dog weighs 10 pounds. Shonda's dog weighs five times as many pounds as Joseph's dog. Which expression represents the weight of Shonda's dog compared to Joseph's dog? Okay. What should we circle as key information, Allie? Um, okay, good. We need to know 10 pounds, and then we also need to know 5 times as many. 
So as soon as you hear that, you should put down what? Five times. Five times. Now I'm going to eliminate answer choices. Which ones can I eliminate? Uh, David? B. B? Eliminate means which ones do we know are wrong and that we're going to go ahead and cross off because I don't want to pick them. So which ones would we say is wrong that we can cross off? B. B is wrong. What else, Evangeline? A. A. Allie? Um, and C. Because five times needs to be in the front. Okay. Will we get the same answer for these? Yes, you'll still get the same answer. But how we write it is five times as many, so five times needs to be in front. Okay? So D is correct. That's important because five times as many means D, what we, what we chose, but you will get the same answer. Okay, number 16. Juan has 21 pretzels. Eric's pretzels can be represented by 6 times 21. Which comparison statement best describes the expression? Okay, this is more of what we're going to practice tomorrow, actually having people with the numbers, because this is where it gets confusing. Okay, well, Juan has 21 pretzels, right? So that's what we need to do. We need to circle that 21 and label it as 1. This is what we will practice tomorrow. So who has 6 times as much as 1? We read the sentence again. It says Eric's pretzels can be represented by 6 times 21. So I would say what? Eric has six times as much as one, right? Because one has 21, Eric has six times that. So underline the six times and we're gonna put that as Eric. 21 represents how many pretzels one has, okay? So now let's read our answer choices. A, Eric has six more pretzels than Eric. Does that make sense? Eric has six more than Eric? No. Two things wrong with that. They have the same name twice, and six more doesn't mean six times. What does six more mean? To add. Okay, so two things were wrong with that. Okay, B. Juan has 21 more pretzels than Eric. No, again, we hear 21 more. That does not mean times 21. That means plus 21. Okay. C, Eric has six times as many pretzels as one. Finally, we hear that phrase, six times as many. Let's go ahead and look at D, though. One has six fewer pretzels than Eric. What does that mean? Six fewer means you would subtract six. Very good. So C is correct. Okay, last one. Which comparison describes the multiplication expression eight times four? Well, as soon as we see this, we need to think what? What would we write? In words, does this mean eight more, eight times, eight fewer? What does it mean, Aaliyah? Eight times. Okay. So I already know A is not correct because it has eight more. What's wrong with B? Evangeline? The eight does have to go in the front, but not even just that. What does four more mean? Add. We're not adding here. We're multiplying, okay? 
C for less than A. What does that mean? Subtract, Subtract 4. Okay. 8 times as many as 4? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now, is it getting easier? Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and practice a little bit more on our own. So you guys are going to tear out page 459 in your books and complete the front and back. If you are getting stuck, I want you to look back at all these notes we just did together in your book, okay? So tear out page 459 and complete the front and the back. 